Today I'm joined by Sebastian and Scott from IK9. We're here at Tripwire Operations Group, and today I'm gonna decoy for one of their patrol dogs. So what do we do first? All right, man, so first I'm gonna go over the safety stuff. So okay. you're, you're obviously gonna feel a little bit of pressure. You see how your hands are wanting to close? <laughs> So obviously after you take off all of this, it's still gonna you're still gonna have that, that pressure feeling. Uh, you're gonna be fine within a few hours, 30, 30 minutes to an hour, to put it that way. All right, so if you wanna go ahead and start with slipping this thing on. For the biggest part of safety for this, don't jerk away. So he's gonna be coming at you. Your natural instinct as a human is gonna be back away. Just stay there confident. Once he hits you, go ahead and roll whatever direction he's gonna come in. Just to, he's gonna hit you hard. So just roll <laughs> to whatever direction you feel I more love comfortable. The grip. Yeah, it's, I mean, I've experienced it, so I mean, the fir very first time I did it, I was a, a little bit nervous. So I can only imagine what, what you're going through. So let's go ahead and slip this bad boy on. So what are the materials that make up the bite sleeve? So the biggest thing for safety on this thing, there's gonna be, can you feel the, the shank of plastic? Yeah. So that, that's gonna protect you from puncture, Okay. basically. And then this, this material is obviously the same material that's made out of the, the bite suit and, and the other bite equipment that we use. <laughs> He's waiting for a movement. He's uh, waiting for you to turn around, step in, do Jesus. something. Jesus. Oh, dude, I should have pissed beforehand. Yeah. Sit. Sit. He wants it. Yeah. I want you to give that sleeve just a do little I bit of movement. Do I palm down or fist? Just, so fist, just like this. Okay. Palm down on the ground. Give the sleeve a little bit of movement. Okay. Okay. Now kind of come, start coming into him. Okay. Start coming into him, start coming into him. Stop it. Good boy. Try to keep it up in your chest. There you go. Closer to your body. Closer to your body. I want him to ideally wrap his legs around your legs. Okay. okay. Come on. Good, Jack. Good boy. All right, go ahead and stop moving. Jack. Jack. Los. Good, Los. Sit. Good. Go ahead and take two steps back. Off. Live in. All right. All right. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> Remember, beat him the right arm. Like this. Beat him yeah. the right one, there you go. Like lead leg out or like, is this well, good? Well, it's better to be parallel, and then when he comes, you just drop step your okay. left leg, okay? Oh, that puts the nuts right in target. Yep, it does, it does. Uh. Good, good, swing him around, good. Very good. Jack, Let's sit, live in. Go ahead and take two steps back, off. All right, so I feel like the, the, the thought of it was way worse than when it actually happened, but I got so much protection on this that I feel like you could feel the force coming behind his bite and everything. But once I had confidence that he was gonna hit it and not necessarily hit like some other part, way better. Trying to say this as calm as possible, Thanks, Scott, and the guys at IK9 and Tripwire Operations Group for having us out. If you guys want to see more from our videos here, make sure you go to Raider Red's YouTube channel. I'm Richard Ryan.